our first question is why the need for robotic surgery? Don't we have other options? Is this the only? The, the basic problem that we have in problems that we have to solve by surgical technique. What do we have to do? To get into the to the abdomen, say, to do something or get into the chest to do the heart. We have to open it first, then be able to see it and then put our big hands in there. That means the amount of trauma we perpetrate on the body is huge. So in 1994, we started this whole process of saying minimal invasive surgery. That means the invasive on the body should be less. So we started trying to do it through scopes and all that, through small incisions. But there were very complex uh, procedures that we had to do with stitching in a very delicate manner, which we couldn't do with the normal laparoscopic instruments. So robotics was developed to be able to do the finest of the operations without opening the body. So that's the necessity, that you don't violate the body to such a degree where there is blood loss, where there is risk to life, where you have a big scar and it takes a long time to recover. Robo with the robotic assistance, what we have been able to do is to uh, eliminate the big scars, decrease the blood loss, improve the recovery time and also the safety. So these were the four things we were searching for and the robot with the procedures that we can do today with the robotic assistance have already accomplished that. Now there are many many other procedures that we need to do which we may not be able to do today which we are developing now. So that's why it's it's essential that we, we continue to work on it in a larger base and the, what is happening today is that with, with this foundation and this collaboration that we are doing with the, like Medanta Vati Kuti was the first one then there are other five others the basic thing is that to propagate the use because the Indian surgeons are very skilled and we, if we can give this service to our to our population that will be the best thing possible what diseases and conditions can currently be treated through robotic surgery okay so we can do heart surgeries like valve and bypass we can do prostate radical prostatectomy as we say you heard that for gynecological procedures we can do myomectomies you know on the on the uterus the, the, the space for which you had to open the whole place so and we can do uh, hysterectomies we can do liver resections we can do uh, thyroid surgeries and now we are beginning to do children's surgery. So the, because children are tiny anyway, so you, with this you can do very precise work without hurting the child. And then now neurosurgery, where it would be very difficult to go to uh, to go into corners in, with your own hands. With the help of the robot and ten times magnification, we will hope to be able to do operations on the brain which are not possible today. And how effective have these surgeries been? Like you have performed so many of them, and what the success oh, yeah, rate? The su success rate is hundred percent. Actually, we haven't lost a single patient. That's what I'm saying. The safety increases also. Safety increases, blood loss, pain, early return to work. Okay. Now, robotic surgery is a very high-tech solution to diseases and conditions, and the majority of the Indian population still cannot afford such expensive surgery. So, how are we going to make this technology available to them? Yeah, that's what the whole idea is that by making its use more and more frequent in India, we would hopefully be able to reduce the cost of the instruments because you can amortize the cost over a much larger base. That's what we are trying now, is to bring the cost down to almost zero additional cost. Why? Because of the fact that if you don't lose too much blood, if you, the hospitalization is reduced, then you save a lot of cost anyway. And the patient can go back to work early, that's again a, not a wage loss. So ultimately it will be a positive gain to the patient. Today it is a burden. As we go forward, we are hoping the patient will gain from it, not, not be uh, paying more. And uh, 
Now, uh, I don't know how acceptable this sort of technology would be. And do you think any problems with uh, people not accepting this? Because the whole idea of being operated by a machine... Well, there is always some anxiety when you don't understand what robotic assistant means. That's what we were saying. Mr. Aluwali also said that you say robotics, people get scared. That is it some yeah. machine that's going to operate? It's not that. It is controlled by the surgeon. It is doing the job in a remote way, only the advantage is that it can do it precisely and it goes through the body, in, into the body through fine little holes like pencils. So that's the major advantage of this. So what's the next step forward for you and... We are, we are opening a, a training center at Medanta for training the surgeons to be able to carry the procedures. We have already done over 300 procedures, that means prostrates, uh, the uh, gynecological, heart, chest, we are doing routinely now. Okay. Uh, what does a robotic surgery typically cost for, let's say? Anywhere from 25 to 50,000 more than a normal surgery. And where is this technology coming from? From the US. From the US. Intuitive Technologies is a company which actually built this robot and are continuing to refine it. So it's, it's the US. The initial also came from US, the, the NASA, you know NASA, the space agency. They are the ones who developed this in the belief that if there are people living in in uh, space stations, then surgery could be performed in there by surgeons sitting in India or in the US, on the ground, on Earth. And surgery has already been done with the surgeon in New York and the patient in Paris. So these, all these demonstrations have taken place. So it, that's the other advantage, right? that you can actually have consoles all over the place and one expert can do six places he can do surgery without having to travel. You're on the same day, you can operate in six places. Do you foresee a future where uh, instead of robotic assistance, it, the robot itself will do the surgery? Well, that's science fiction today, but will it ever happen? Good, I have no idea. The probability is less, much less. But can you, can you program? Because you see, the human body is so variant. Why can a robot, why can a robot today weld a car? Because the car size, shape, everything is all predefined. But our three bodies are totally different from each other. So how do you predefine? So that's the savior for doctors. That so, hopefully this will not take over any... So any do you feel it is extremely important that a human mind is behind the robot? Absolutely. No and the skill. Human mind and skills. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, coming back to technology again. Uh, don't you think it would be much better if India made its own technology? I, as I mentioned, that we may... See, we don't have that, that kind of uh, backup available to us yet. Although we have enough IT and engineering background, but you need a lot of financing and research facilities. I have no doubt that one day you could. 